Greetings, Mr. Puncherello. Please enter the house. My name is Butler. I will help serve you your meal. Oh, uh, oh, a meal. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Mr. Butler, may my friends come in with us. They are also hungry. And the more, also the merrier. Okay. So Bunchy will motion to everyone to, to follow. Yeah, the the inside of this house is a, is a, is pristine. Um, it is it is incredibly clean. Uh, the, the, the steps that lead up to the second floor to the right of you is a a kind of like a dining room with a small kitchen behind it. To the left of you is a living room. Uh, the uh, butler leads you into the dining room where the table is set, um, and it um, is standing uh, kind of at the back of the table uh, towards the kitchen, uh, waiting for you all to sit down. Mr. Greenglass, do you yeah, think we're uh, going to have to eat our friend? Um, I don't think that's what they have in mind this time, but okay. I really don't know what we're in for. I, 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 it's, I mean, the, this place has lovely decor. It's like goldenrod, avocado, mid-century modern. It's lovely. Um. I didn't know like three quarters of those words. Uh, um, so I'm pretty sure they're not going to make us eat our friends. Uh, I think there's a okay. good chance we might end up fighting our way out of this. But honestly, oh. when do we not? May I get you something to drink? Um, uh, sure, my good man. Uh, a sidecar? Um, the Protectron kind of turns around and grabs a cup. It is empty, and he places it in front of you. There you go, madam. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this this might end up being a, a shorter meal than we thought. I will be right back getting appetizer. And he kind of trundles off to the kitchen. <laughs> so this might be some kind of, of like, a display house or like a demonstration house and Ooh, like a case study house. Maybe. And case it just study. hasn't been reloaded in a while. I mean, he served well, me a drink in an good. empty glass. So, so, so this is just a dinner, not. but with maybe a fight afterward. Okay. I'm used to this. Yeah. This dinner and a show. <laughs> I thought, so we are going to get fed though. Um, oh, who knows? I mean, if the food's like the, the sidecar, then I hope you have a good imagination. So this could be worse. Sure, his idea of a beverage was an empty cup, but it's possible he might have actually brought in the sidecar from a motorcycle and thrown it at us. So, you know, uh, there's some good, some bad here. Hmm. It's a good point. At this point, the Protractron oh. enters and says, appetizer is served, and he takes a bowl. It's just empty, and he sets it on the table, and he says, serve yourself. What is appetizer? Yeah. That's uh, It's something you eat to make yourself more hungry. Yeah, it's like a, a snack before a meal. You know, like uh, you'd get nachos <clears throat> or a nice relish tray or, you know, like some garlic bread. Uh, you, you'd you have like a snack before you get served your actual dinner, which might be like, um, like Wait, a steak. Wait, like, or I don't know what yeah. half so, that was. So, like, I think we call that, we call that breakfast. That's the meal that you have before dinner. Mm -hmm. well, no, like breakfast is the meal you have in the morning to start yeah. your day off right. And then in the middle of the day, you stop and you have a lunch. Uh, and then uh, I've dinner, heard that. That's a little uh, indulgent waiting, you know, like having a meal sooner than like 12 hours before your first. That seems a bit indulgent. Yeah. Shit used to be amazing, man. Like we would just like food was fantastic. Food was everywhere. You Wait, so appetizer, you would have like 
immediately before. Yeah, yeah. It's Jesus like, okay, Christ. So you go to a restaurant. Yeah, I, I, the, I read the about this. Down, in a, in a way, it was a sh- it was a way for hosts of dinner parties to show dominance by proving that they had the ability to provide food that nobody would actually eat before the actual main meal. And then they do something called dessert, which is when they give you the most delicious thing at the end after you'd already filled up with the normal food. So nobody had room for it. I mean, mom asserted dominance by stabbing him in the hand with a knife. So that, that's another way to do it. Yeah. There's a lot oh. of wrong going on all throughout this. Um, but I, I don't have time to uh, explain why. At, at some you're point, wrong. I would love I'll, if you would go well, over Abel, it with me. I've wrong. read about it in books, and it does. It seems, it seems That's a not, little excessive. You don't get it, Hazel. Shit used to be amazing. It was all excessive. Did you, you all just like, like eat all the time? You literally created a food that you eat before you eat, and then. You talked about dessert, which is a food you eat after you eat. A dessert yes. is a treat after you finish your meal, like a nice, a nice uh, tiramisu or um, spumoni. Uh, you like a slice of pie. It was you. You was a, a, a sweet dessert. So punchy. Yeah, you know. Why? Okay, you all know perfectly preserved pie from those automatic machines, of course, right? Of course. Okay, right. like imagine, imagine eating one that someone had just made, at like. Your wife rolled out the dough and she put it in a pie plate and she like cooked the apples or the strawberries and she put it and she baked the whole thing and then took it out and just slice it while it's still a little bit warm, but not too warm. It was amazing. You guys don't get it. So no. can you tell me, no, but no, Punchy, no, no. why would, if this was the most delicious food ever, why, why in God's name? That? Yeah, why didn't you just eat that? Why did you wait till everybody had eaten all this other food and they were totally full and satiated? And then you took the most delicious food ever and put it in front of them and they didn't yeah. have any room for it or they made themselves no. sick trying to eat it. There, now you get it. You understand. You understand pre-war America uh, perfectly now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. When you well. finish appetizer, I will bring out entree. Oh, looking forward to uh, it. Yeah, mi- uh, Mr. Butler, what's the entree this evening? It is roast lamb with a side of mashed potatoes and green beans au de jour with a small spritz of our fresh glaze. Oh, do you have any mint jelly to go along with the lamb? I thought lambs are extinct. What's mint, mint jelly? No, I don't. Uh, this is, you know, I uh, didn't know Mr. like ninety percent of those host? words. Your host uh, will not be able to make the meal until later. Well, that's certainly disappointing. Come on, everybody. Let's eat our appetizer, and then we can have the main dish. Should we pretend we to eat something? We or haven't eaten anything yet. You know just, what? Should we pretend we're eating something, or should we just tell them done? Would it be rude to use my hand? No. No. Oh. Depends on the appetizer, you know. It's an like imaginary appetizer. I mean, just use your imagination. Okay, is is Mr. Butler still in the room with us? Yes. Um. Hmm. Maybe. Um. Frankie, didn't you say you had to use the restroom? Didn't you need to excuse yourself so you could go and use the restroom? No, I didn't say that. Go sneak around. Go, like, find out what else is going on in the house. Just pretend you gotta go pee. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I have to go relieve myself after drinking all of this amazing sidecar. Yes. Excuse very me. well. Very well. 
In fact, do all of us need to use the restroom? Uh, well, I, I, I think, I think at least girls used to go to the restroom like in herds. So maybe like I should go with somebody else. Hmm. Yeah, Rods used to do that. Okay. Very well, very well. And he's just kind of like standing in the in the dining room. Um, you all are. He, he, he's just standing there, um, not doing anything. Uh, okay, bathroom break. Uh, let's <laughs> uh, through here, right? Yeah, and I'm going to save you the the trouble of kind of looking through the rooms here and just have you all roll a um, perception plus repair for difficulty two to um, essentially find things that are out of place or something to um, explain the uh, the situation. Okay. <laughs> nice. I don't know what the difficulty was, but it was two. 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 Yes. Nice. So, uh, Frankie, you, um, yeah, yeah zero everybody successes. else seems to I don't be know rolling, what's going on. rolling those here. I'm so uh, perceptive. Frankie, you managed to find a, um, <laughs> a kind of like alcove in a closet and you open up this closet and kind of remove the panel a little bit in the living room and you see that there are like some stairs that lead down to a dark area that are very small. Cool. Like, like small as in can't go down them or small as in it's all in like very tight quarters. Um, like the, like we might like screech the ends of punchy to get them through, you know? Oh, well that sounds fine. Uh, should we go down everyone? Wait, it's stairs. How do you go downstairs, anyways? Ah, uh, he's okay, got does Punchy go downstairs. Treads. He's got treads. He's got treads. I would, I would maybe either make me the first person or the last person after all of you are already down the stairs, just in case any slippage and fallage. Uh, right. Appreciated. Hmm. Nobody likes yeah. fallage. Uh, so you all descend these stairs, and before you is a uh, this like bunkerish area. Um, there are like cobwebs uh, kind of covering everything. Um, there is like some weird, um, uh, like almost like a it's it's very large. There's like a strange car in the corner that is that's like green colored but is like dusted up on the sides um there is like a, a platform that would that you would kind of almost like it has like various clothing outfits on it um that, that you would wear and there is a, a set of computers towards the back of the room with a um it, it seems like an elderly uh, i don't even know it seems like a somewhat elderly guy is sleeping in a chair. Huh. Um, does he look human? Uh, you could get closer and try to find out if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, so yeah, do an agility plus sneak for a difficulty two. Uh, I failed and I had a critical fail. Uh, uh, sneaky. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you um, start to walk and you step on a particular kind of like uh, sensor plate. Um, and once you step on it, uh, a um, rope comes out and wraps around your leg and yanks you up into the air where you are fully mm. upside down um, from the chair. The, this guy awakens and turns and you see this kind of ghoulish guy. Um, he's, he's a full-on ghoul in kind of like almost like a hazmat suit. Um, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he turns towards you all um, and sees, and and the alarms start going off in this bunker. And he says, "Hello." <laughs> he says, "My God, what have you intruders done to my basement area?" Uh, we were walking through it. We thought you were dead. 
I, I have not I have not died for years because my name is Grandpa Doom, and you will rue the day that you have messed with my basement dwelling. We just wanted to see if you were okay. Yeah, we're fine with leaving. Uh, if you wouldn't mind you getting even find out. a place like this. Well, the robot the was door was us- open. Is that your what? robot upstairs? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yes, that's my butler. I programmed him many years ago. Um, he does well, all, the, all the foods. He kind of it, it's it's nice enough that people could stay, but they don't. N- nobody comes down here. The, well, he can't oh, he make did. a drink Get with a it. dam. <laughs> Well, and he can't he make a drink serving, for the dam. He wasn't serving any real food, and we kind of got bored. How far off the ground is Hazel? Uh, uh far off the ground uh, is against the bunker, uh, maybe like two feet. Oh, um, can I uh, try to shoot the rope that's holding her up? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Um, that would be a medium range. Uh, so you can go ahead and and try that with your weapon. I'll uh, need, um, yeah. yeah, I'll I'll hold her tombstone pile driver style so <laughs> that when the rope goes slack, she doesn't dr- fall on her head. Uh, oh, I thought you just got a tombstone pile driver. I thought that was <laughs> so I, when he misses, it shoots you both. Uh thank you. Well, laser given. Well, I wouldn't thank him yet. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for trying in case I die. Well, yeah, three successes. Ooh. You managed to hit the the um. What was the difficulty rope. on that? That was a two. <laughs> so you get an AP. Oh, um. So yeah, you um. The rope falls. Uh, Hazel, you are now prone. You're getting up. Uh, the uh. the the, uh, the ghoul looks at you and says, "By God, stay back, everyone. I don't want you anywhere near my secret lair." Now that we've like said a, that, a super guy. why did you? <laughs> right. I, now that's all I'm going to think about. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You're really so bad if, at this. How if about this you is come like your upstairs? Special... All right. All right. You. All right. Wait. 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 If this guy is okay with his butler allowing people to stay upstairs, even if he doesn't actually serve them food and leaving peacefully, that doesn't make him a supervillain, right? Yeah, but his name is like Doom, and he's got this like cave and like uh, Punchy. Wearing, like, your name is costume. Punchy. Yeah, you you want to know why? Is it because, because you were a really punch, good guy? I used to punch things a lot with my yeah, human I hand. That, I don't think I you all quite to understand what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to save the world because oh, the bombs okay. are going to drop. Oh, oh, I got oh. Oh. Real bad news. Who wants to take this one on? Oh, uh, not um, it. What's, not it. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, sure. Hold on, yeah, hold I'll on. take it. What's so wrong with the bombs? Oh, God. They're going to drop. Oh, I know yeah. that they're going to drop. It's been professed to me for years that they're going to drop, and I'm going to save everyone from them dropping. Okay, cool. but what are you saving them from? Doom. Okay. Doom. Uh, what year but, is it? But David? it's the bombs. Like, what are you, like, uh, something's oh, the, just the not clicking. Of, word now. It's the year of our Lord. There's a, yeah. which one? Standard. Which one? <laughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, I get it. What, all right, what are the all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. Okay, how long do you think you've been down in this basement? Uh, I'm just, a, I mean, I've just been down here for a day. I go out all the time. Oh, Hey, were had the bombs dropped last time you went outside? Well, they're going to. Okay, I got some real and praise bad me news for it. But for you, like okay. First off, before we do anything else, can you flip me around and put me down, please? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my okay. strength is currently at ten, so this is going to be very full on. Uh, <laughs> just uh. <laughs> You know, like. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I really appreciate your support there. You're welcome, uh, Miss Greenglass. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, sir, how long were you napping, do you think? 
Like I, I, wasn't, I, 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 I was looking, I was looking at the inside of my eyelids. There's a lot of different secret codes and messages that I inlaid on there many years ago that I try to read very specifically. Cool. How long ago did you start looking at the inside of your eyelids? <laughs> I mean, it was just, a, I, I, I would imagine that if you're trying to study something, you would need to do it for a few hours. Okay. Who's the president of the uh, United States right now? Well, last time I checked, it was an elephant. Uh, okay. All right. Um, can, you, can you just give us a quick minute? <sighs> we, need to cons- we, we need to do a consultation. Just, just, just a moment. Guys, um, I think he's crazy but harmless if I am okay with just leaving. Why did Fab think this was such a good house? Well, because it's called the good house. The robot even said it was a good house when we showed up. So I don't think Fab was big on imagination. Well, what's so good about it? Is this guy good? Well. He says his name's Doom. Well. Maybe it's ironic. Hmm. Don't you think? Well, I've got oh. a question for you all. What's your life purpose here? What are you trying to do? What is your quest? Is it to also save people from the doom? Yes. I think of. we have a different oh. definition of what the doom is. For example, the collars around our neck. I think they could constitute as a doom. A very a personal doom, yeah. Yeah. I noticed you're wearing some very fancy jewelry. What exactly is that? Fancy jewelry. Um Yeah. Uh it's it's dynamite. <laughs> very literally. He's not gonna be able to get that reference. <laughs> mm, that's fine. Um do we trust this guy to try and help us get these things off, or should we maybe just wait till we can find somebody who we do is, trust and who is um, possibly sane? Yeah. How high tech does this layer look? Does it look just like a crazy man's basement, or does it look like a bat cave? No, this is a bat cave. Like this is like a military bat cave. Like imagine Ooh. like b- b- like a a. Like nineteen, what a nineteen fifties like bat cave would be if you were really into like the the Second Amendment. You Damn, know? it's it's uh, chances are good this is where these collars were made. <laughs> who's going to be brave enough to let him take a closer look? Uh, well, if he wants to take a closer look. He can look at Punchy's uh, bomb collar. I might be too stupid to. Avoid volunteering. Okay. Um, so he's he's kind of like approaching you all hesitantly and kind of motions for whoever wants to, you know, get there. Their if he inadvertently in. makes eye contact with me, I'm going to see that as a sign for me to step up. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So he, <laughs> it's like, oh, he wants me. Okay. <laughs> he goes like <laughs> beckoning. And he starts like pulling on the inside of it and kind of um, looking around um, mm-hmm. and then pulls out kind of like a radioometer and is, is kind of like measuring the outside. And um, oh, God and knows kind of, what readings he's going to get on me if he's got something that's <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, it's, that's, that's a little weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, he, he, he does that and he goes over to um, Punchy's and he's kind of examining it and he says, Well, here's the. Um, here is the good news. The good news is these bombs will not go off right now. That is very, very okay. good that news. Is, that is good, yeah. actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The bad okay. news is the force of these bombs is equivalent to what America had invented in the 1950s and will likely, if they explode, not only kill you, but everyone, including me and most of this town, if they do go off. Uh Oh. Wait, they, then these why did nuclear? they need to put them around our necks? It does I, seem like overkill. <laughs> <laughs> they could have literally put them anywhere. 
Uh, to, to me, it seems like that you all are the most doomed. It fe- I, I feel I feel like that I need to save you all in some form or fashion because you all seem seem very doomed. You're the most doomed people I have met. You know yeah, what? If, I, we're standing, you know if they're happen. that powerful and we're standing next to you, wouldn't that make you doomed? I, I, I live life on the edge. Let me tell you, I'm out there riding around in my car, trying to save as many people as I can. I bring them back here, and I'm 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 building a network of of many different people, and we're going to survive it together. When's the last time you saved anyone? Oh, I saved somebody the other day. Are they in this room? Where are they now? Oh, yeah, they're in the back room. And I what? Well, I tell you, that wasn't actively trying to manipulate us or arrest us or hurt us or kill us for a little bit now. Oh, so so you want me to go get them? Uh... I don't want to put them, but I want to put them in trouble. So maybe you should go, you know, he can't like, get it. All right, May, you're cutting out a little bit on the, right. on the vocals. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just Sorry. trying to piece together what you're saying here. Uh, Sorry about that. She might said, be something with your internet connection. She basically said that she'd prefer to just kind of peek her head in to see if they're busy or not. All right, yeah, agility plus sneak for difficulty four. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, there's no way I'm nailing this. It's zero. Yeah, you um peep open the door, and from inside of it are um Many different um, kind of uh, strangely put together robots um, that all have their heads kind of upside down. They're all kind of like mangled and they turn and they look at you and uh, six of them bust out of the room towards you and you all are now in combat. Cool. Um, Welcome. Welcome to combat. uh, The initiative order for... (laughs) These guys. I don't have a picture for these guys. Sorry about that. So we're kind of losing out. I'm gonna set up our little battlefield picture, here. Picture picture um, a bunch of fallout robots with their heads upside down. Gotcha. Yeah, think about like um so you remember the the gin one cents? You remember those guys? Oh fuck. think about oh, yeah. those, but like <laughs> but like totally mangled and like ravenous, awesome. like a mix between a, a feral ghoul and a gin one synth. Um, uh, Hazel, you are in close range to these folk. The rest of you, um, that guy you killed, um, the rest of you are in medium range. They have first in the initiative order, so the six of them uh, are going to um, go first because they are just like absolutely busting at the seams to um, Um, come towards you. Since we are at the beginning of contact, combat, I'd like to go ahead and spend a luck point for a uh, mysterious angel stranger. Yeah, sure. You can add him to the board. Um, <sighs> just so I remember. Yeah, well, it's going to be this icon. Um, sure. I need to get yeah. that art to you, or we need to put that yeah, sure. art in there. Sure, we can do that. Uh, we can but, do that. Yeah. All right. First step. But that's at your uh, discretion. Yes, I know. I'm aware. I just well, like the reminder. I like the reminder of what I, I should it. be doing. Yes, um, sir. Hey, so one of these robots is just going to come right for you. They're close range. They're coming out with a bite. Um, and at one success, that's a hit. Yep. And they are going to bite you for... Um, Four physical damage plus one effect is stunned. That means you are stunned. That means you lose your turn for the next round. You can actually do actions, but they cost you AP. So you can spend one action point to do a minor action and three action points to do a major action. Otherwise, you won't be able to do anything. Um, When this robot bites you you feel like an electric pulse like shoot through your body and you in your stun you kind of realize that not only are these robots vicious zombies they are also electric vicious 
zombies, um, and uh, they are still coming awesome. for everyone. Um, that one bit you into range. Another one is going to come at you and bite you as well, because it just it just they just can't get enough of you. Don't worry, there's six of them, and they're all going to go all kinds of different directions for fun. Cool. I think Hazel's going to die. Uh, no. Let's see here. Zero successes. That one misses you. Um, another one's going to move into a, uh, a close range to, we're going to say Frankie here. Uh, Frankie, one rushes, kind of bum rushes. He moves into that close range area within the bunker and is going to bite you as well. See, that's two successes for a hit. We're going to see what that does. Four physical damage plus stun. So you are also stunned um, coming up into this round. Where does it uh, Another hit? one. What did you say? Where does it hit? Sorry. Location. Left leg. Okay. Bingo bongo. Uh, Hazel, those, that one that hit you was in the left arm. Just rolled for that. Um, so that's where you took damage is in the left arm. Okay. Uh, is it physical? It's physical damage. Yeah, I don't have any. It's physical mind. damage plus, yeah, because they were just biting you, gotcha. but the little electric mm -hmm. part is the stunning part. That's not an energy yep. damage. Um, okay. Next up is another one's going to come for Punchy. Uh, let's see what this is. A Zombot. It's a good name I came up with in the Zombots. Uh, Punchy, they're running right at you. Three successes. Yeah, that's a hit for Punchy. Um, and that's four physical damage. And Punchy, you are now stunned. Um, next up is Abel. Abel, another one is going to come right at you. Hang on, let me grab him again. I keep on losing this character sheet. I shouldn't move it right up like that. Pulled up the flower. Sorry about that. Zombot. Can do another malfunction bite on you. That's one success. That's a hit in close range. And uh, let's see. Abel, you are stunned. Uh, another robot is going to attack Hazel now, the last one. And we're going to see what that does here. Let's see if we can get a hit at close range. Bang. One success. That's a hit. We're going to roll for damage. Two physical damage to um, Hazel's head. And then, did I roll for the locations for Jared and... Oh, um, no. Uh, okay. Location won't matter. I've pretty much got the same physical... Okay. Uh, right leg for you, and then right right leg for both of you. Yeah. All right. Well, that's their turn. How, how was their our AP again. situation? <laughs> so, what's, their, all right. what's your AP situation? So, our... <laughs> AP situation is two, uh, which is enough for a single major action. That's right. Two is major action. I misspoke uh, amongst on the group. Um, so I, I have the best opportunity to generate AP in this situation. Okay. Uh, so here's what I'd like to do. Um, I would like to spend two AP to actually get a major action. Yep. I would like to use Daring Nature, and I'm going okay. to give you, David, an AP. Okay. okay for the extra d20 which will allow me to re-roll one uh okay i'm going to try to attack the one that is in front of me which one do i think i want yeah i think yeah, I, I assigned them to whoever yeah. yeah uh so that's four successes so that generates three ap right there um i'm gonna do my puncturing knuckle damage uh Um, given you, the uh, you, you, you clobber this, by the way. These are low health. They are they are low health. Like, is it dead? Oh yeah. Okay, excellent. Because it is dead, 
that triggers Grim Reaper Sprint, which generates two action points, which now brings us to five. Okay. You're doing the thing I wanted you to do. Look at all you, right, all. Group. Look at you all. All right, group. I've done what I can. Yeah, <laughs> who, I mean, wants to, who wants to play? Yeah, I think I could go for that. Yeah, I think I, I could think, do uh, that. Now that they're in combat right. range, I can get so, so technically, so technically, Jared, Jared took his turn. But yeah, I, we can I can't go because I'm, I'm before him in initiative. That's right. right. So what, what is your, what is everybody's initiative? Oh yeah, mine is ten. Can you do the equivalent of hold action in Fallout? I think you can. Yeah, you can ready an action, um, and and execute it later. I think it's in a rule book. Actually, you can do that. Yeah, and just like okay. when you say X happens, you can do it. When Abel gives us the morale to be able to <laughs> act. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm pulling up everybody's uh, initiative here. Um, Abel is 10. Punchies is 12. Francis, what's yours? Frankie, excuse me. Mine is 14. And then Hazel, yours is 8. eight. So Hazel, technically, you are up next. Um, I am you are also stunned. Technically stunned. Yes. You can spend so, one AP for a minor action and two AP for a major action. But I, I, I think group interaction in this a little bit of meta gaming will help with this um, encounter. Yeah. If I try and go this alone, I am definitely going to die on the next round of attacks from these things. So, I. Uh, really need to get away from them um what um i think a major action would be uh do you guys think it's a good idea for me to open up with the flamethrower i took off punchy and spray these things down uh what's your big gun skill uh it is nothing <laughs> i got yeah, zero see, on big guns maybe best you, to try to do you I, you might be better off trying to keep yourself alive because you're probably most likely to be able to pick people back up too. Yeah. Okay. So I'm decent with survival and throwing, but yeah. And so maybe so you can really I need to be at range. <laughs> yeah. I need to get back away from these things. Um, you I can spend a, a minor action to move one range distance or two to move all the way, like across the room into long range. Uh, Problem, is the problem is if you move if you move one, they can just move towards you. Yeah, but are they going to um, move towards her? Do anything? Are well, they going to move towards her? I'm willing to bet at least one of them. I mean, but um, probably won't are be you three. Guys, is it my AP or is the group AP? It's group that? AP, and we've got five right now. Okay, so I I do want to move as far back from these things as I can, even if that's the only thing I can do in my send condition. Okay, so, so do you want to burn two AP to move to long yep. range? Yep. Okay. I do, in fact, want to do that. Um, how long does the stunned condition last? Just one turn? One yeah. turn. Okay. Um, I really wish I had a stun grenade. Okay. Uh, but I do not. So uh, I'm going to get back, and uh, I'm going to look around uh this this isn't this is, I'm gonna try and do like a free action thing to see if there's anything here I can grab and stuff in a jump jet on my next um turn. You've got the chunk jet. I do, I have the chunk jet. <laughs> um, yeah, you can yeah, sure. You like you can have ammo. You can have ammo for that. Um Okay. Have we made the chunk jet yet? Uh, I haven't made I've just given her the junk jet. Okay. We have, but we haven't made the chunk jet. We have a head. We have a human head. I have added those weird items to your inventory. So like the balloon belt, <laughs> the flesh filler applicator, all that stuff is in your gear um, yeah. and the, the proper descriptions for everything. Um, with that being said, we're going to move back into our um, absolute brutal onslaught here. 
And okay. um, we're going to go down the list. Um, the Zombot near Frankie is going to attack again and see if he get off that close range hit. Um, with one success, he does. And uh, Frankie is stunned yet again and takes two physical damage to their left leg. Um, next up is going to be Punchy Bahoon. Punchy Bahoon, oh. that one's going to come right after you. Zero successes, Ooh. it misses you. Um, next up, uh, Abel. One's going to peel off and come after you uh, from, from Hazel's area and move into that close range, and it's going to try an attack on you. <laughs> going to be another bite. Let's see if we get that. <laughs> Zero successes, it's a miss. Um, one is going to try to chase after Hazel. It moves into medium range. It has used that to um, get uh, close to you, but it cannot attack you. And uh, this last one, I think, is going to go... Um, let's see. We're going to make this a true... A true... Um, ooh, sorry, Frankie. Frankie, uh, this one's going to go right after you attack when in doubt roll it out a nice d4 see what our results are another zero success so that misses you as well so i believe the only one that's actually stunned this round is uh frankie frankie okay yes. so we have three ap in the pool Frankie, you could burn an AP to do a minor action or two to do a major. Yeah, I mean... Hold on, roll 20 had to... It, yeah, my roll 20 no, is goofed up on me a little bit tonight, too. Yeah, mine, I had to restart it. But I'm back now. Um, yeah, I could do... I, I only need a 12 or lower, so I feel like I could take a major action and feel reasonably confident that I can kill one of these things. Okay. So if so, you guys are all right with that. Yep. Uh, so that's two action points. Because me and Punchy will be able to act normally. Yeah. Or oh. not. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Zero successes on that, uh, on that weapon yeah. hit. Sorry about that, buddy. That happens. You could spend another AP to do a minor action if you wanted to, or you can move on. Um, no, I think I gotta just move on. All right, cool. All right, Punchy, you're up next. Okay, you're uh, unstunned. I, you're free. Unstunned. Weapons live. Right, I'm going to uh, take a minor action of aim and with a awareness, uh, help me identify weakness of this zombot that I'm gonna blast in the face with my okay. Um, with my laser gun. Cool, yeah. Laser gun. Use that laser gun. One success, One. yeah, that's a that's a hit. Uh, so you can go ahead and roll damage for that. Ooh, and with my damage, I will use my other perk. Laser commander. Uh, the damage is uh, increased by one DCD per rank in this. Each time you take this perk, mirror. Okay. So for I think this we might damage, have already did we already added that like your gun? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Let's... Also, if you're interested, the aim action lets you reroll one of your d20s. Ooh. Oh. Do you want to reroll uh, the nine or the sixteen? I will uh, reroll the sixteen. I guess. Uh, smart oh, decision. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot that I can just I just re-roll everything when it comes oh, to no. hit die. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, I was about surprised it. you didn't say anything about that when when you No, I totally that. forgot. Okay. So oh, I forgot about that. Sorry, I gotta jump. Uh oh. So for that for re-rolling just one. Uh, yeah, I would just I, do a basic energy weapons plus perception and then do see what you get. Just one damage dice for that. Or not damage dice, one die for that. I wish there was a way to add, like, automatically re-roll, but there's not. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a shame. I totally forgot about mine. Hey, oh, yeah, that's two successes. So you hit, you generate an AP. Boom. Bing, bang, boom. Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll your damage for the weapon, though. Don't forget about that. Uh, it's, 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 it's no additional dice, right? It's just the... I think we've already damage. equated the additional dice in there. So you can just click on the dice roll that says the roll damage and has the little vault boy and like the, the results area, and that'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah. Bing, bing, Ding, boom. dang. And that's you, what the uh, you just like you just like melt this robot's skull, like you just like absolutely shoot it through and it falls down the floor and it's ding dong dead in a ditch. There you go. Nice, nice turn. Uh, next up that's is it. Abel. Okay, what are you um, able to do? All right, I use minor action to aim. I'm going to spend an AP to get an extra uh, D20. I'm right. going to roll my attack. That is two successes, but I'm going to re-roll one of those because of my uh, aim. Um, so that turns to three successes, which means I generate two action points off that. Um, I... Do my damage, which is eight hmm. for piercing. Um, yeah, you like I'm imagining your character being able to just like Mortal Combat things. Like you just like punch something and it just like absolutely destroys it. It's just uh, a bloody mess type thing uh, that generates yep. two AP because of uh, Grim Reaper Sprint. Uh, that brings us to five AP. There you go. All right, that's another one bites the dust, and we're on to Hazel's turn. Hazel, uh, th this thing is in close range to you. You are now in close range to it, but it hasn't attacked you yet, so you have free range to do as you will. Uh, so I have the junk jet, or chunk jet. Um, I do happen to have, uh, as far as I know, we were going to try and uh, copy... Uh, a chunk of flesh off of a dead body. And um, we haven't gotten around to figure out how to do that, but I do still have a, uh, a human head on me. Um, <laughs> Whose yeah. head was this, I, by the way? I, I'm trying to remember whose it was. Yeah. It was, I think it was from the Price is Right knockoff. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, uh -huh. oh, it was one of them. carrying that around, have you? Well, yeah, I mean, it seemed like it would be disrespectful to just, like, dump it at the side of the road. So I was trying to figure out what to do with it. Oh, but this won't be disrespectful. No, oh, no, but, is... well, well, it'll be it'll be putting his head to good use one last time. I don't judge you. You do what you gotta do. You can judge me all you want. Uh, just, you know, just don't stand within the firing radius. I'm going to shoot the chunk jet yeah, and sure, a go human ahead. skull at maximum velocity at this zombified synth robot thing. Sounds good. Yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Don't answer that. Okay, so what am I doing? At medium to fire range. This thing off? So you're so at medium range, so you'll need I, big guns. It, you just click on the junk jet, and it'll automatically. Oh. Um, so big guns bottom. are actually endurance. Yeah. Okay. And you'll need two because you're at medium range, and you're trying to hit them at close range. Okay. Ah, <coughs> uh, two. Oh. Did that work? Two. Su yeah. Two you successes. Got there. Two successes, but a critical. But, yeah. <sighs> Teeth yeah, went so, everywhere. That was terrible. Oh, yeah. You the, spent AP um, to get the extra dice. Yes, I did. Got it. Okay. Um, you managed to fire off. Go ahead and roll for damage. By the way. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Now it's the gunk jet. Th oh, gross. <laughs> Three <laughs> physical damage. Oh. And okay, yeah. uh, and one um, one head, so one sort of uh, interesting effect. <laughs> it actually doesn't have any effect on them, um, but mm -hmm. 
just uses this um, special ammo. So if you used a particular type of ammo, it would have that effect. So if like you used like a fire based thing, but since you use you used a human skull, right, to do this, I used a human skull with teeth and brain and all of the like. It's a complete. It's a head. It's a severed human head. I fired a severed happened. human head at this thing. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's right. You managed, you managed to damage it for three. Um, okay. Unfortunately, it is not dead because it has HP of four. Um, okay. And what has happened is you have shot this human skull through your junk jet, but at the front of it, the actual flesh from the skull, um, because of the force of the junk jet, peeled off from the skull. So you just oh like fire oh. flesh into the grooves and like circuitry of this robot. So it is it is definitely injured. It is definitely hurt by the amount of flesh that's just like gunking it's it up. It's not a but fake like, it has a face like peeled off on top of its robot face now is what you're trying to tell me pretty much um but the ah! skull of it has actually jammed your junk jet and has like oh. embedded shards into it and you will actually need to find a way to repair that at some point and it is now unable to be fired due to the ah! um, complication um with that it was a very interesting turn um we're going to move back to the old Zombots so, here. Wait, so you just Hannibal Lecter'd the... <laughs> <laughs> the... The zombie synth robot, yes. Uh, well, I I was thinking, Truly what's the worst else. thing that could happen? And I think you that, lowered its charisma score. I think that it's a little less charismatic. That might very yeah. well be hey. the worst thing that could have happened. Depending on your perspective, it rose the charisma score. Oh, it's, I, I, uh, I, this is the, every, every time, every time we fight, it's the worst thing that's ever happened. Yeah. So far. Consistently, <laughs> every fight is the worst thing that we've ever done. And the worst it's thing I've ever Hazel's seen. It's not Hazel's thing. Not Hazel's <sighs> thing. All right. Wow. Uh, so there's, th there's three of these guys left, uh, and we're going to roll for Frankie, for um, Punchy, and for Hazel. One peeled off of Frankie to go after Punchy here. Um, so we'll start with Frankie here and then see what your bites are here. Uh, that's one success. That's a hit at close range. Um, and you are again Jesus stunned Christ. for two on your torso. Um, you know, I've, taken a, I've only taken a single point of damage. It's been low damage, but it's all been effects. But incredibly frustrating. Yeah. You're just getting tased. Like, yeah. it won't kill you, but... <laughs> but I am uh, annoyed. Punchy, they they missed you. Um, yeah. And they sent you they sent you a letter saying that, they, hey, we missed you this year. Uh, maybe next year we'll get you. <laughs> and Hazel, they also missed you. Um, so next up in the turn order is a stunned oh. Frankie. How much AP do we have? We have two. Y'all will be fine. Just kill them this turn. Yeah. I'll yes, sir. Stay stunned. Yes, sir. All right. Do that. Don't forget about your rerolls when you do this, too. Oh, no. I'm saying I, I'll just stay stunned. He's, and he's just he letting it rock. Oh, oh you just letting yes. it rock. Okay. Um, then, yeah, Punchy, yeah. you're up. All right, uh, again with the uh, the awareness, and uh, gonna do another. I promise you, laser. I'm aware. I pinky promise. I have good awareness. Dang, yeah, yeah. laser gun, yeah. Uh, three successes. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage That's for that, buddy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just one. Oh, yeah, you just uh, managed to uh, kind of like pop it, uh, just right in the head a little bit. Um, it's uh, damaged, but it's still it's still good. Um, all right, moving on to Abel. Abel, what are you doing next? Um, are there any close to me? Um, you're at. We've abstracted range. this pretty hard, so I didn't. Yeah, this is more of it. You're at medium range to everybody. Like you're kind of like you could run over and and assist them okay yeah you know what i mean uh so i'm gonna take a minor to move over to uh hazel's um cool. 
I'm going to spend an AP to get the uh, extra die. Yeah. That is three successes, which Justice. generates two. two AP. I do my attack. That's five physical with four piercing, which it was already damaged. Oh, yeah. Grim Reaper Sprint mm. generates two wow. AP. Pulls now seven. Ding dang. All right. Uh, that's a great turn. Hazel, you are up next. There's um, no um, Zombot in front of you. Um, what are you going to do? Uh, hi. How's everybody looking except me? <laughs> On a scale of 0 to 16, I'm a 6, but I'm all right. Okay. Um, I'm so healthy, it's not even funny. Uh, well, I am actually going to take my turn to use one of my... I know he says he's fine, but he moved into range to protect me. I am going to grab a um, uh, a stim pack, and I'm going to stim pack him to give him back some of his health. Oh, cool, yeah. Stim packs have a um, static value, I'm pretty sure. I think um, so. It's been a while since I've used one. <laughs> I'll find Hold out on. here in a second. Da, 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 da. Simpack heals for yep. four. Okay, he gets back four. Mm, yum, yum. And I use the Simpack mm, on him. Cool. So that's a, that's a minor action to actually use the Simpack. That is like, a minor yeah. action. Yep. Um, major action. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll pull out my 10 millimeter pistol and try and shoot one of the bots that's still up. Okay, yeah. Um, so you are in long range to um, yes. this close range target. Your 10 millimeter pistol, uh, the range on that I think is medium, I think? It is a medium range. Yeah, so you just need two successes to uh, pull off a shot. Okay, I will do my best. If my computer allows me to actually do it. Let's go, come on. It is not allowing me to pull up my sheet, and I don't know why. So hold okay, on, there I can it roll it for Never you. Never mind. If... I got it. I got it. I got it. Cool. It, it was being. It was being lazy. Okay. Okay. Dang! Yeah, two uh, successes. You okay. pop that right off. Um, and a luck. Go ahead and roll damage for that. And a luck. And point. you got a yeah. luck point. And the damage is. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, can I I'm gonna use a luck point to re-roll one of those because you, that um, is you can do no you actually play. re-roll three with uh you can re-roll okay. three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just roll three damage dice. Uh it should be in the top left hand corner of your sheet, should be the vault boy in the top left hand corner. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Or right hand corner. Because I can't that wow. Okay. That's bad but luck. Zero physical damage. I yikes, know, like yikes. Me. Pretty impressive. Is that the first time we've seen like we've blanked? That I think is so. might be. That is hundred percent my luck though. Jeez. Okay, that's okay. much what the uh, hell? Yeah. And now it's five damage. Go. Yeah, you just absolutely <laughs> absolutely destroy the uh, zombot that was in front of Punchy. Um you just like fire one, oh. you're like, God, God damn it, and you pull it again, and it fires and it goes and pierces right through the head of it. Sorry, um, I'm a little bit rusty with with an actual gun. I'm used to throwing uh, things. Now, now we're even, Hazel. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. All right. The um the let, let me have it. The less zombot is going to attack. Um. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. It'll be one like success. let me have it. One head. On let's do it. Oh, oh, oh look. Oh, oh, let's wow, go. That's great. But, let's go. Um, yeah, that's that's great. The the only thing is from above the car, a uh, a kind of like window kind of opens and it and it pulls itself back. The um the shutters almost like creak 
open and there is a lightning bolt that shoots right down into the car. And as the smoke from the car clears, appears a man with wings and a mask of eyes. And he pulls out a uh, gun and shoots at the uh, Zombot nearest to um, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Frankie and manages to damage him for five and shoots him immediately in the head and he falls over. And with that, the gun smoke clears and you hear banana and another lightning bolt strikes again and he disappears. And that is how um, the combat ends. Was that satisfying, Frankie? Was that the most satisfying combat you've ever had? They got scared. They got scared of me. Yeah. Terrified. Uh, and, I and with what, that... I might have missed what happened. And with that, the, the uh, old man sitting in the corner goes, you, you managed to kill all the people that I saved the other day. This is a, a grave injustice to me. They're, they're, they're robots. Like... The, the, clearly, they were robots, Grandpa. And, you know, and they attacked- justice to you. What were you saving them? Was it to stroke your own ego? They it's from the us. doom. I'm saving them from the doom. They're robots. So well, what has, is your like, friend over there? Uh, technically, I'm a, a cyborg. A brain. Sometimes I say they robot. It's just easier that way sometimes. But you know, there's a human brain up here. You know, yeah, and, and so, if he turned around and attacked us, we would defend ourselves against him, too. Oh, is that right? You think all three of you could take the one robot? No, pretty sure we could. Which one? Uh, I don't know, guys. Yeah, they gotta get pretty close for me to be effective. <sighs> eh, it's worth thinking about, but um, I love you all, and I look forward to not having to kill any of you in the future. So um, in the meantime, what is it you were trying to do with those robot things that you were trying to quote unquote save that attacked us and tried to kill us? They came very, very close to killing me, by the way. I was trying to save them. I'm trying to save everyone from the doom that is coming. I was told as a little boy that the doom was going to come and the bombs were going to be dropped on all of America. And I had taken up my mantle and became Grandpa Doom so that everyone would be saved. And it seems like you all are here to bring your own doom. So with that, I bid you a doom. And he throws a a small ball onto the floor that explodes in a cloud of smoke. Um, And with that, Grandpa Doom seems to have disappeared. Alarms in the base start to go off and doors are then slowly sealed shut as um, toxic water begins to pour down from the ceiling and that is where we'll end our session for tonight (laughs) great we have how did we end up with a accidental arch nemesis guys how does this (laughs) keep happening to us it actually feels pretty natural (laughs) 